Hello everybody and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. The last part was a fun part. So Marcus had a riot, beat up some people, and Connor found out where Jericho is located. Can I talk to anyone? I'm just gonna sit in silence as the car drives itself? Okay. Oh. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? No. <laughs> no. Okay, I don't have an option. Damn, they just murdered that android in the street. So, are we still in Detroit? Also, I'm not sure when this game's gonna end. Pretty sure we're close. Because now Connor knows where Jericho is. He's obviously going there with Hank. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. Oh. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. How do you know Marcus? You absolutely have to be on it. He hasn't been there that long. On the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. Is everybody gonna meet there? there at Jericho? Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make I mean, in my right? mind, if I'm playing as Connor, I know Kara isn't an Thank evil deviant. Know. She's just trying to protect Alice. And Luther too. If I'm Connor and I'm killing deviants, Come on, girls. and they pop up, they not hang around. Oh man. We have a bus to catch. Is it a bus? Or is it a freighter? How are we gonna get across? I mean, more importantly, how is Alice gonna get across? Yep, there's Connor. Oh wait, is Hank not with me? Is Connor, Connor going solo? He's riding solo. You're never making me look. Okay, I guess he's just going by himself. So this is how they... I'm confused how they get androids from here out of the country. Like, is there a bus or something? And actually, this might be the last part now that I think about it. Because they're all gathering. A lot of androids here. Gotta find a warm place for Alice. She might actually be her. I don't know. Maybe she's not human after all. I have no fucking idea. Nothing is lining up with what they're saying. I was gonna say, Alice is like the only human here, but maybe not. can I find out if she's an android or not? How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Even if she is human, will they accept her being here? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. 
there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. What? Tell me, tell me, tell me. We'll have lots of time to talk no. to Alice. No! I'll be back. Kara, talk Stay to him. Alice. He brought this up three different times now. God damn, talk to him, woman. Uh-oh. Connor's here. Would they recognize that Connor is like a unique model? Is that a Kara? Yep. Ooh, can I go check in on Alice as Connor? Yep, there they are. Finally, these characters are meeting. Also, what does Connor expect to do here? Hey, a little girl. Oh, I can't get back there? These people are blocking them? Excuse me. A big guy, are you called Luther by any chance? Hello, little girl, is your name Alice? Uh, don't catch anyone's attention. Alright. Do those make new parts? Hi. Aren't you psychic or something? Can't you tell what I am? All right, back to Kara. So where's Marcus? Oh, is that him? Are you Marcus? I would really like to see like the choices I made affect I'm with a little girl the outcome, like just by them doing their own choices. The border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Now where's Connor? Freeze! FBI! You you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I really just want to say Connor do the FBI thing. Like what is he planning on doing here? There's like hundreds of deviants. Hello. I guess we're going back to Alice. Where's Connor? He's in here, right? It's an Alice model. Think, think, think. Oh, was... yes. What did you read? I could have found out that early on. I mean, I did find out. How do you not remember that? You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. Where's her LED then? What difference does it make? I mean, it doesn't. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? I'm more scared for her. Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted. And you became the mother she needed. Getting who you are to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe so that's what it means to be alive. Is our Alice a deviant? Has she been a deviant this whole time? I'm like living with Todd. That will do that to you. Alice, I gotta go. I don't like, I don't love you anymore. Is 
Is there something wrong? What difference does it make? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. It does not make a difference whether she's android or human. I mean, she's very believable at being a human. <laughs> Oh, Luther's my family! Oh! My heart. Okay. Now I'm guessing Marcus, because I'm the leader of Jericho. Where's Connor been? What is he even doing here? We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. I mean, what do you think That's would happen? Our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. But I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You saw what they did to us back there. It doesn't matter what we do. We either fight for our freedom or we die in silence. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I, I, I don't know. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. I don't know what dialogue meant. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Connor comes through the door. FBI Today, on the ground. A deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. What does that mean? He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. If they come at us head first, right. we'll fight. We'll kill. We're not just gonna involve terrorism. Whatever happens tomorrow. Ooh. I just want you to know that thing. You? I'm glad I met you. And? They're gonna do the hand thing. That is like Avatar. <laughs> 
I called you a bitch, but... Gotta get a little bit of romance in this game. They're not kissing. There they go. Okay, bye. So is he gonna go talk to people? Or is Connor gonna come up and like shoot him? Oh. There he is. Oh, back with Amanda. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I don't know what to do with Connor. Where'd he get a gun from? I've been ordered to take you alive. They finally met. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Mm. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. Oh god, I'm playing as both. This is so confusing. You're coming with me. Do you know him? You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. Is he famous? You seem to have found what you were looking for. Marcus would try to get him on his cause. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. That's enough! Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what did I... Did I press... Become a deviant? So now this has gone or literally becoming a deviant. So he hasn't been one yet? I don't care about Amanda. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Now I get it. Shit. When it said stop Marcus, that was like this wall of like, this is what you must do. Or this is must this is what you must do. Honestly, I don't know what to choose for Connor. I know he's like a Quick, we've got to law guy, but even Hank is like, they're just deviants trying to live. I mean, I didn't kill Chloe. He must have some feeling towards androids. I only shot Tracy because she charged me, alright? Or wherever it was. That's impressive for Marcus to... Oh. Yep, they're all getting slaughtered. 
suppressive for Marcus to make Connor into a demon without even touching him. He just warded him into it. Yeah. Go, Luther. All these androids are getting slaughtered. How did these ones die? Alright, go right. Oh, Luther! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. Am I gonna blow up Jericho? They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. The only option. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. All right, Marcus. Here we go. Excuse me, coming through. How far is that? 85? God damn. Hi, Lucy. Is that what your name was? This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Yep, he got dead. Alright, how do I get down? There we go. Remove your face. They won't let you see you. Okay, now I'm killing these humans. I've taken over the side of the androids. This causes Alice's deaths. I'm gonna be very upset. Ooh. You shouldn't have done that. Why not? You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. He's not gonna make it. Oh, here we go. Hide. Oh. Really focused right now. This is my mother's skills coming in. Get the gun, shoot him. Are you alright, Kara? Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. Did you drop the gun? There's more down there. Follow me. Okay, how did you not see us? Like for real. If this is the finale, like the last episode, it is amazing so far. Alright, these guys are blind as hell. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> 
All right, I'm in the zone now. Marcus, you saved us. Go now. Hurry. Take a gun. Uh. Oh, am I fighting? Climb. Go, Marcus, go! Alright, can't believe they did not shoot me. Do I have a choice? Okay. They didn't really give me an option there. What? Could I have saved them? Who? My bad. Josh! I ain't leaving Josh. Josh, get up and fight him. Why are you sitting there? Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Josh is now my companion. Go, 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 go. Oh. Get down. Don't move. Please don't kill me. You happy? You killed a girl. Come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> My main priority right now, keeping these two alive. If you definitely jumped on top of Alice to defend her, you would have got shot. Alright, Marcus, get ready to blow. Where's Connor been this whole time? Go and join the others. That guy really just wait for Marcus to walk up to him. this place sky high. Marcus. Oh, there's Connor. Gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Run! Oh, why are you not running, Marcus? Go! Don't wait up. Just keep going. Ooh. Connor's in love. Or Marcus is in love. I am surprised I'm getting all these. Okay, let's go. Where'd you get shot in the spine? Yeah, go Connor. There we go. Don't know how I always get the triggers mixed up. You get shot twice? My bad. There's no going back to Cyberlight for Connor. Whew. Damn, that whole mission was half an hour. They detonated an explosive in the hole. 
The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's it over, Marcus? So I could see that. Okay. That's the end of that mission. There might be like one more final, final. Three at Jericho. One of us. Oh, wow. There are. Scorched Earth. What? Wow, you could have nobody with you at the end. Okay, let's 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 let let's review this. Where do we start? I wonder what that is. I don't know. Um Okay, that's when Marcus was up top. What could have skipped all of this? So, there were two options, or two endings with Marcus. I'm guessing he didn't make it at the other one. Let's see, Connors. Hank's still my friend. Saw for instability. Now, now, now I'm a deviant. I'm hated by the public. What? Public loves Connor. You become a deviant, or not. No, even if he didn't, you would still... Ooh. You wouldn't last too long, probably. So, you could have had, like, a lot more to do with Connor. It just skipped a whole lot for me. I'm not sure why. And 76 people escaped as Connor. Now, Kara. Look at that. 94% hugged Alice. Why would you not hug her? Unless you're going for, like, the I did everything playthrough. And 82% escaped with Luther. Oh. 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 Luther's on the ship and it blew up. Maybe. We didn't see him knock it off. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, no, here it is. 69% up to Luther. We left Luther hidden. Yeah, he probably would have died in that alleyway if I didn't. So 90%, the soldiers shoot at the crowds. 59 play dead. And 63 remained still. And 76% of the people escaped. I didn't see the stats with Marcus. What were they? 88. Wow. A lot of people didn't have Simon with them. Probably because they played Connor right and found him on the roof and killed him. Or something. Oh. He came back home. This might be a longer episode, because I'm not sure when the end is. This could be it. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. So recognizes me. I guess he didn't got that. Get that, uh... Disconnected. Where would he be? I wonder if he still has my painting. Carl? Uh, would he be in the studio? Wow, he hasn't even moved it. Uh, here's where Leo got fucked. Where is he in his room? I guess it is late at night. And he is old. How long has it been since uh, Marcus got shot by the cops? I don't remember. I really gotta look at the days. Who are you? Oh, who are How you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Surprise, Carl has an android. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. What did I miss? Ooh. 
Yeah, that's a hospital bed. Carl. Marcus. Hey. Are you happy to I see me? You, Carl. I miss you so much, Carl. You don't know how much I miss you. Does he know what I've done? What's wrong? I don't know what to do anymore. All I have left are bad options. No matter what I decide, there's gonna be blood. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for it to end. I don't want bloodshed, no matter the color. But I can't let them slaughter my people. I have to make a decision that's going to affect millions of lives. And I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. Really is. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. I was half expecting Flatline to happen. Is there not going to be any Connor and Hank? I really want to see what Hank thinks now that Connor is deviant. Where are we? Like a church? What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, I didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. You're one of my people. Nothing else matters. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. How many did we have? Count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Don't do this in church. <laughs> okay, bye. I did see someone when I was talking to her. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. 
Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. I notice Luther isn't with them. And he was family at the end. Decide Connor's fate? What is fate? Uh, let me talk to everyone. Simon, then Josh, then Connor. Connor helped. He killed people for us. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Good talk. Oh, we're not done. Maybe we are. Okay, where are the other guys? Is Connor? Yeah, there's Connor. Where's Josh? Oh my god. Is that one missing his head? Yep. Uh, is he alive? Uh... No idea. Hi, Josh. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. You're welcome. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. I'm glad I'm ending terms on everybody good. Only the people I, like, disagree with are people I don't care about. Like Amanda or a public opinion. It's my fault that the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. I'm not getting rid of Connor. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Inform your people of your choice, okay? Connor, he's going to be the new main man now. Uh, where do I go to say this? Okay. You would think it would be right in front or right in the middle of everyone. No. Okay. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now. 
being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Ooh. Has any of this been peaceful? I mean, they already hate us. If we march peacefully, they're just gonna shoot us. Might as well fight. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. Josh, you said you would go with whatever I went with. Are you ready to follow me? Marcus chose to fight for his people. 39%. Not a whole lot, but I'll take it. Yes, yeah, 73% spared Connor. Why would you ever get rid of Connor? Like, I know he, like, led the assault, but, you know. Oh, wait. If Marcus wasn't alive, who could would it have been, like, Connor or North or even Kara? Making choices? Yeah, because then, like, this whole part is with Carl. I don't know. That would have been weird. Carl deteriorated after Leo was hurt and broken. Okay, well, I was going to say if I didn't hurt Leo, would Carl have lived? But I did start watching other people's playthroughs of the beginning parts. I saw if you didn't hurt Leo, Carl would have, like, died of a heart attack, so. Yeah. I don't regret, regret that choice. Night of the Soul. What? I'm guessing if Marcus died, or if Connor didn't turn deviant, this is what would have happened. Okay, well, in case, uh, in case, uh, there's more, like, a lot more gameplay I'm not thinking about, I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to do it over down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.